boom when you think of the xxx tentacion what do you think of immediately right now off the dome what do you think of what, what are your first few thoughts i'd say you know well the kind of the answer kind of depends on when you started listening to him if you're a fan from like let's say 2016 and before you're probably thinking of what like, look at me take a step back with ski mask riot or maybe the numerous domestic violence cases that he's been in amount of times that he's been to juvie jail stints and the young brides cover or you know if you're a newer x fan let's say 2017 or so and after you probably think of his 2018 album question mark or his massively amazing album with very large commercial success 17. now you know for as long as art has been popular there has been the question do we separate the art from the artist and you know that's a bit of a tricky question because things are never always either black or white they're usually just great but you know there are obviously things that we excuse during certain things so let's not act like we don't and not act like we're all perfect here because we're not we go and we complain about things like workers rights but then we go outside and buy an iphone the newest iphone we complain about these fortune 500 companies like amazon treating their warehouse workers like shit but we still buy from them and say "Ooh, if i get amazon prime i can get free next day delivery or you know in a much more serious case relating to music still support people like r kelly a very big and well-known pedophile or king von a serial killer personally you know if you ask me i think that we should be morally consistent everywhere because otherwise we would be fake and we would be hypocrites, which so many people continue to condemn, but they're exactly what they hate. Now, if you're not familiar with Texas Past, he has a few pretty serious crimes under his belt, home invasion, robbery, aggravated battery, aggravated assault and juvie, along with the domestic violence. Now, before we continue, because once again, this video speaks about very serious issues, I'm not fully condemning him for every single thing. So now that I touched on this part before we can continue and clear up everything else, let's go back into X's story, uh, his backstory. Jessa is from Broward County, Florida, which doesn't have the best reputation if you know about some of the rappers from Florida. But, you know, more specifically, he grew up in Lauder Hill, and after doing some research while I was making this video, Lauder Hill is safer than only 8% of American neighborhoods, has an 8.6% violent crime rate and a 246 property crime rate. This is, you know, pretty high in case you couldn't guess. So now, couple in being involved in that type of environment, living in a single mother household, which makes a child's odds for becoming a functioning member of society much lower, growing up in that type of neighborhood, him allegedly having to stab a man when he was six years old because he was abusing his mother, witnessing an uncle he loved hanging from a rope, goes to juvie for a gun possession charge, which he probably needed to feel safe, uh, later on to home invasions, robberies, and aggravated battery. So couple all of this stuff together. What do you expect? Do you expect him to be some kind of very kind child without any type of mental issues or anything wrong up here that's a normal person and once again keep in mind that i'm not completely excusing the stuff that he did but what i'm saying is i am compassionate and i do understand so before we can get into the the real meat and potatoes of the title what this video is about we have to speak a little bit about his criminal history so you can get more of an idea because most people that already know about x only know oh he beat his girlfriend and stuff like that but it needs to be spoken about the extent to which it happened so one we can talk about it and then two you can also understand it too So this is a bit of his criminal history, but the main thing that he's known for is the abuse of his ex-girlfriend, Geneva's Ayala. 
During October 2016, he faced charges on battery of a pregnant woman, domestic battery by strangulation, false imprisonment, and witness tampering. She said she routinely suffered physical and emotional abuse from him for most of the time that they stayed together. The first incident of domestic violence happened over an unspecified amount of time after they met. He slapped her and broke her phone because she complimented a male friend on his new jewelry, which is insane because that's something that can pretty much never be misconstrued as anything else. And at this point, the video will begin to speak about and contain some graphic content. So if you're not okay with this, you know, I get it. Please click off the video. Now, during the same day of the phone breaking, he came back with two cooking utensils. One, a barbecue pitchfork and the other, a barbecue cleaner and asked her to pick which one he's going to put in her. He then told her to undress. She, dragged, she chose the fork and he dragged it against her inner thigh before she passed out then stopping. After this occurrence, she reported him being very violent and threatening to kill her almost every day. They then moved in together in an Orlando home in 2016, July. A week and a half into their moving in, they were on their way to another concert he'd be performing at. And while they were driving, one of X's songs featured one of his guy friends. She hummed along to the guy featured in the song when his part came on, and then X was silent for the ride which isn't a good sign. When they got home after the show, he asked her if she liked the guy that featured on the song. He then headbutted, stomped on her, and put her in the tub where he continued hitting and kicking her. As the situation kept going on, he threatened to cut off her tongue because she was singing along to the song. She tried to run her way down the street, but he caught up to her, tackled her, and stomped on her more. Her hitting the street pavement, which I assume was concrete, gave her black eyes, a lump on the back of her head, scratch marks and bruises, especially a large bruise on her ankle after the stomping. A few months later in August of that same year, he got arrested for something completely different, the home invasion stuff we talked about earlier. Due to this, he had to serve six years probation, so go back to the abuse from Jasse. She called her mom to pick her up and she went to Texas to stay with a friend for a while. The time in Texas was pretty short-lived because after a while, she went back to South Florida and stayed with X's friends. And during that time, she cheated on him with one of his friends, of all people, which continued to add fuel to the flame. When he got out of jail and released Gospel with Rich Brian and Keith Ape, they moved back in together. He agreed to stay home on house arrest, which also wasn't good for her because that means he always had to be there. Following this, he told her that he knew she cheated on him and put a knife to her neck and confronted her. Later on, when they were sleeping that night, he woke her up and told her to go outside while holding an empty glass bottle. He yelled at her and demanded to know what really happened, and she admitted that she cheated and apologized. He then dropped the bottle, slapped her, and went back to bed with her. A week later, they moved to Sweetwater, which is a pretty good part of Florida, and had multiple more instances of domestic abuse. During two of those instances, he grabbed her by the neck, strangled her, and forced her on the bed, which I assume they mean sexual assault. Soon after, neighbors heard them and one came to help. She said she felt scared that he'd end up killing her, which is, of course, more than understandable with everything going on. Then, in early October, she found out she was pregnant with the ex's kid. He called the guy she cheated on him with and told the guy to tell him everything or else he'd kill all three of them, which means the guy her and the child which is an insane thing to say being that she's pregnant after this he began to elbow headbutt punch her and strangle her until she passed out he beat her until she couldn't recognize her face in the mirror her left eye was completely shut and leaking blood she then went to the hospital for this and was forced to wear clothing like a bunch of hoodies sunglasses and stuff to conceal all the bruises she's gotten from x he had to do this in order to not get arrested again for domestic abuse and even more aggravated battery charges since getting caught would violate his parole and give him a much longer sentence in jail. Now obviously this isn't every single recorded issue with X and Ayala but it's a few of the major moments that are going to get you up to speed if you're not familiar with the case. So now this begs the question, do we separate the art from the artist? This is an interesting question because there are two ways that we can go about it. The hypocritical way and the non-hypocritical way. The non-hypocritical way would be to treat all of these famous people the same if they did some crazy stuff in the past. 
So, for example, if you condemn X, then condemn Playboy Cardi too. And the hypocritical way is pretty obvious. Listen to other people that did very deplorable stuff, but condemn X. Granted, you know, once again, most people have pretty different morals, but there are still things that normal functioning members of society can agree or wrong. Like sexual assault, murder, depending on the circumstances, of course, animal abuse, blah, blah, blah. And before we continue, once again, I'm also not acting like some holier than thou perfect person who always does every single thing right. I still listen to Amy Winehouse, even though she said a lot of crazy things about different groups of people. Chief Keef, G Herbo, K Flock, Fat Joe, Gucci Mane, 50 Cent, and a bunch of other people. Another important thing to take into consideration is remorse. Even though remorse doesn't fix everything for every situation. A while before X passed away, he began his self-improvement arc. He constantly posted videos like this. So I wanted to give a bit of advice. I wanted to give a bit of clarity. I wanted to give a bit of an explanation. Now I'm winging this. Uh, this isn't written. This There's nothing written here. But just so you know, I'm winging this whole video. Uh, so when I'm talking to you, I want you to know that this is genuinely from my heart. This isn't some bullshit pre-scripted motherfucking words coming off of a paper or anything as you can see you see that there's a there's nothing behind me um okay so my current focus is creation and evolution no matter whether you realize it or not every day you evolve every day you create you create in thought you evolute in mind you evolute as far as your age you evolute physically mentally if you are evoluting physically and you are not evoluting Mentally, you are not doing the right thing. So, for you guys, our guys, I want you guys to constantly, constantly, constantly be trying to evolute. Um, as far as creation, being creative in thought, being dr like living life like a dream, you know, like as far as you are the actor in your own movie. You get what I'm saying, and you are the person that you desire to be. Along with this, he started posting positive challenges, like the Helping Hand Challenge, where you go and do something positive for homeless people, which everyone can agree is a pretty cool thing. Along with a bunch of other videos apologizing for things that he did and talk about how he's going to do better, along with doing better. But personally, I think it's a bit too little too late. It seemed like he genuinely meant everything and he was living out the stuff that he was talking about, about trying to do better, be a better person and stuff. Granted, everybody can be a better person, but some things are just still too crazy to come back from, you know? It also depends on how much their actions influence the work. X actions don't influence his work or directly derive from it, so it's possible to separate it. But do we want to is the real question. If someone is talented, you should appreciate their work but still be aware of what they did is really bad. It's okay to do this as long as the viewer still has, you know, an objective mindset and thinks, wow, this person is really bad, but strictly the music is very good. <clears throat> but, you know, depending on the person and how they experience it and take in their own art, they may not be able to do that, which is completely understandable and still completely valid because who am I to tell you Oh, just move on and forget about it. No, you're entitled to your own opinion and continue thinking what you want to. It's just that me personally, I usually ignore it. At this point, we're just used to it. It's like every famous person, whether it's a Minecraft YouTuber, League of Legends streamer, every Genshin Impact player, Discord mods, Reddit mods, some anime fans, every Genshin Impact player, actor, every Genshin Impact player, has something up their sleeve and I'm just no longer surprised at this point and neither are you and neither should you be. Recently, one of my favorite league streamers, Cookie LOL, got exposed for speaking very inappropriately to teenage girls on Discord of all places. Who could have guessed, right? The Decord Discord PDF files. This is something that's definitely getting me to stop watching his, uh, his YouTube content and streams. Cause I used to tune in pretty avidly, even though I didn't like donate or sub or anything. And it's still weird because I'll still listen to X and other people that did pretty deplorable things, 
but I draw the line at cookie, which is interesting. Even though, you know, a 90 page document that people have on you, cookie, came out, which is still crazy. 90 pages on like anything is crazy. That's like a PhD level, um, like paper. So I did a bit of a test while preparing this video, writing the script and everything. I decided to listen to an X album I really like, and I chose 17, his magnum opus in my opinion, and see if that changed anything. And nope, nope. I still liked it. I still like the album, but you know, obviously the stuff was still lingering in the back of my mind while I was listening to it. Good people can make shitty art and shitty people can make good art. The generosity worded it absolutely perfectly and used this other example that I'm also going to talk about. And there's a bad artist that sometimes volunteers at animal shelters, helps old people cross the street, donates to the poor and everything like that. Versus someone who, you know, punched your grandma, kicked your cat, uh, nuked a children's hospital for kids with cancer, went on a joyride ride after drinking eight bottles of Hennessy, but still put out my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. It's still clear who the better artist is. They're just a shitty person and they still deserve everything that's coming to them, but they still made very good art. Even R. Kelly of all people, oh my gosh, the poster child for this debate. You know, I'm not gonna lie. You know, us black people, we still love R. Kelly, the American ones, at least. And I get it, because the music slops. Every single person knows what he did as far as, you know, going, uh, delivering apple juice to a minor and creating the the phrase R. Kellying as a way to say using the bathroom. Uh, which is a very creative way for me to tell my friends that I am in the bathroom. Um, but you know, uh, even before all that, and even after the um, the documentaries and everything came out, he still has like five million monthly listeners on Spotify, which is still crazy. In order for most people to be like, "Oh, hey, this person was collectively really bad," they'd have to do something absolutely insane to the point where even their stands would leave. But at this point, besides doing something insanely extreme like bombing a city or something, I can't think of anything else. And even then, if it was like Taylor Swift or something, they still wouldn't even bat an eye. Honestly, if it was like, what, Taylor Swift, BTS, Nicki Minaj, or whoever else did like another 9-11, they'd still have their stands. They still would not care. There's still some type of line that has to be crossed in order for this to happen. And we don't know what that line is. And do we want to know what that line is? No, we don't. Unless, unless that person is someone who made calculus mandatory in school or a very, very, very specific computer science teacher that I have. Otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm completely down. Uh, but otherwise no a lot of really popular artists influence their own genre or multiple genres and this also leads to the question can people forget their work now if it's an insanely massive artist think you know michael jackson chris brown prince eminem taylor swift or whoever else this isn't very likely due to their fan bases being the way that they are now take people like Stupid Young, Pilo, Teriyaki Boys, La Tyler, or anyone else with like a relatively smaller fan base in comparison to those people, and little to no influence and see how it then changes. Then we'll take X, a pretty big artist with a very involved fan base, whose many fans flat out say that his music and speeches saved their lives. While some artists have an insane effect on, on people, is it still ethical to rock with someone who still has a problematic past? No. If by rock with them, you still mean support them as a person, then no. 100%. Not. 100% not. But if by rock with them, you still mean listen to their music because what they did still didn't change the music? Then yeah. Yeah, sure. For, for sure. 100%. It's just the person that's the weirdo. We just didn't know it until it was all brought to light. Most of the time, at least. And it's funny because a lot of people will talk shit whenever you don't stop listening to someone that does bad stuff. 
like Chris Brown, you know, even though in his story, if it was Rihanna antagonizing him and hitting them while they were driving out of all things, which is one of the worst possible times to ever hit someone. The baby after the AIDS comment and he got canceled from every show or but still have no issues at all listening to Nicki Minaj who married a rapist and 6 9 for the situation with that minor. He was basically in the room and recording it while the minor was getting abused with multiple men but didn't actively do it as he said. I don't know about you but I find it funny that people canceled 6 9 more for snitching versus that situation which is very interesting and tells me a lot about people you know we all say this about how the people should stop doing whatever they're doing stop watching whatever they're watching or stop listening whatever they listen to but we never do the same thing for ourselves which is interesting so now what i want to know is what do you guys think about separating the art from the artist are we are you still gonna keep listening to x or did you already stop listening to him personally i know it's a bad thing but i'm gonna keep listening to him but yeah no i would like to thank you all for the you know support and the growth you know it's been really crazy and i really didn't like expect all that from uh from the last video along with the previous one that i did um but hopefully you know uh you guys still enjoy this video even though i did have a few interesting opinions uh, and hopefully you share those in the comment section too and are able to have an interesting discussion about this because i think that this is also something else that should be discussed and along with that too you know peep the fit you know peep the fit we going crazy you know boom man the boom man pit pants came in uh the other day you know crazy you know i rock with it you know go, going crazy you know um but yeah along with that too um feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more uh weekly slash bi-weekly music content like this um i'm currently working on just building up a catalog of good and interesting videos that people will enjoy so even when i'm not able to post for a week that video is still doing well enough and it's kind of like i posted another video that week so once again thank you all um and along with that too um i got banned from twitter again for i think the second or third time so do not follow me there if you're interested go follow my instagram instead that's in the bio along with subscribing and stuff here um but yeah